What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I want to talk about the new season of Destiny 2, Season of the Nerfs. What are Bungie thinking? I mean, I hate making rant videos about Destiny 2, but the way Bungie are going on, it's like they want this kind of reaction. And they're getting it. They are getting it. The whole community is pissed about changes they have declared are coming to our beloved exotics in the near future. Now, before we go any further, guys, if you do enjoy the video and agree with my opinion, do smash that like button. I do appreciate that support. Okay, so last night's twab, I mean, for the past four or five months now, I haven't really been on point with covering the twab. I mean, most of the time it's just the same old, same old. But last night's, wow, I missed a treat. I woke up this morning, checked on Twitter, and I'm seeing everybody's upset, everybody's pissed, everybody's bitching, and rightly so. Because many, many of our beloved exotics are getting a nerf. And the thing is, the weapons and armors that Bungie are nerfing are the very reason many, many people are still playing the game and having fun while they play the game. It just seems as though from the very, very start, Bungie have not learned. I mean, I do remember a time where they did state that they weren't going to nerf anything. They were just going to buff other things. I may have been dreaming. I guess now I was dreaming, but I'm pretty sure they did say that. And in my opinion, them nerfing these weapons, them nerfing these armors, these exotics, it just further, in my opinion, confirms that exotics do have an expiration date making a grind we all put towards these absolutely meaningless but that's just my opinion i'm pretty sure you guys will have your opinion too and let me know that down over in that comments section now the nerfs will go through them if you haven't read them or don't know what i'm talking about uh, so we're going to read straight from the right now quoting the destiny dev team for season of opulence several notable weapons are being adjusted or nerfed we want to ensure that encounters, raids and other endgame content, for example, remain a challenge. Some of these weapons have been overwhelming that challenge. Our first choice is to buff underused weapons. But if we continue to push every weapon up higher and higher, it will be impossible to maintain challenging experiences. Or just make them harder. This is not a full list of changes, but some of the most impactful. Whisper of the Worm. No, I don't want to go any further, people. Whisper of the Worm was already adjusted in Season of the Drifter, but an exotic that can generate an infinite amount of heavy ammo is still a gigantic outlier and renders many weapons irrelevant for certain encounters. While exotics are intended to be powerful and novel, bypassing the ammo economy can tend to force us to adjust enemies to compensate. This effectively results in sniper rifles as a whole being punished because of Whisper's unique ammo ability. As a result, we are removing the ammo generation ability so that we can increase the effectiveness of all other snipers that don't have endless ammo supply. White Nail pulls ammo from reserves rather than creating it. Wow, I'm pretty sure this is what they did to the first original Black Spindle in Destiny 1. And reserve ammunition increased by 18 with our ammo reserve packs. Wow, what are they doing? Bungie, what are you doing? The whole point of Whisper of the Worm is White Nail and how it is now. Nerfing that, it's just gonna, it's just, people are just gonna vault the weapon. Yet another amazing exotic being made absolutely pointless by Bungie. Wow, I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that, people. Okay, so moving on to the Sleeper Simon. And to be honest, I don't want to go any further. I just want to end the video now, cussing Bungie. But we will go, we will carry on. Sleeper Simulant, the reduction of bounce shot damage for Sleeper Simulant is already present on several important enemies. We are now making this reduction part of the weapon. The difference in damage is too large between a single precision shot of Sleeper Simulant and an angled shot that pierces the target and then also hits the target again with the bounce projectiles. Much like Whisper, we've had to adjust enemies around that potential. By making these changes a permanent part of the weapon, we can get it into a more balanced position. Reduce ricochet bounce damage on boss combatants. Modified precision behavior. Total damage is unchanged, but non-precision shots are significantly more forgiving. Wow. 
Lord of Wolves. Lord of Wolves receives a massive increase in damage with the full benefits of shotgun changes in Season of the Drifter. This made it a lot more popular, but we got a significant amount of feedback that released the wolves activating on every kill made it difficult to control the weapon's ammo consumption. As a result, we were allowing you to swap between the two states to control the output, while also reducing its output slightly. PVE damage reduced by 20%. Release the wolves perk has been reworked, no longer triggers automatically on kill. This effect is now triggered by holding reload, similar to the fundamentals on hard lights and borealis. PVE damage and range bonuses on this effect have been removed and replaced with a universal damage bonus instead. Ace of Spades Ace of Spades is pretty hot in the Crucible and has been since its inclusion in Destiny 2 Forsaken. The number of perks on the weapon combined with the semi-permanent effect of Memento Mori gives the weapon too many advantages compared to other weapons. Now that Memento Mori ends when you stole the weapon, you'll need to make a decision on whether or not you'll keep the weapon drawn to retain the bonus. Memento Mori now ends if the weapon is stolen. The PvP damage bonus of Memento Mori was slightly reduced to prevent two tapping guardians while Vengeance One-Eyed Mask was active. Specifically, you'll need four resilience to survive this. Memento Mori is active for 6 shots again, up from 5. Now although the Ace of Spades wasn't a weapon I really used, I mean I know it was a fan favourite by many, and I mean this is going to piss a lot of people off that is for sure. Ok so we're going to move on to the exotic armour. Along with the exotic weapons above, we will also be making some changes to the exotic armour pieces. Primarily, we're paying attention to pieces of exotic armour that grant back super energy. We felt they are increasingly becoming must pick gear choices. Orb generation from teammates is meant to be the best way to accelerate your super generation. These exotics are allowing players to bypass this teamwork mechanic by generating a large amount of super energy without relying on other players orbs. Also because these items are so overwhelmingly strong in situations where players face off against large numbers of enemies. Some activities were designed considering the use of armour such as Orpheus Rigs, the Phoenix Protocols, School of the Ahamkara, etc. This means if someone in your fire team doesn't have these super exotics equipped, the activity becomes far more difficult. We are making some changes to these armour pieces to try to preserve their power fantasy and still leave them as viable choices for difficult activities without making players feel like they must have them equipped or be at a huge disadvantage. Super generating exotic armor changes. School of Dire Ahamkara, Orpheus Rigs, and Phoenix Protocols now receive super energy back with diminishing returns, making it rarer to get a full super back. Shards of Galanor and Ursa Furiosas had their super gain caps reduced to being parity with other super exotic changes. Gwizen Vest has its energy reduced from 15 to 8% for killing 1 to 2 guardians. Still scales up similar to before when killing 3 or more guardians. PvE energy return remains similar to before. While sympathetic about the fact that the changes we make in the interest of balance in combat and game design can be jarring, it was important that we have this conversation before you read the patch notes. We know many of you have a lot riding on day one of Season of Opulence. Hopefully, this intel will assist you in building the perfect monster killing machines for the next season of play. I mean, I just don't understand Bungie's thought process here. Exotics are meant to be exotic. Exotics should be fun. They should be in turn overpowered compared to other shit. That is the whole point of an exotic. I mean, we've been here before. We've been here in the past with Destiny 1 and I'm sure with Destiny 2, where they drop these amazing exotics and then nerf them a few months later when people are having fun with them. The most surprising out of all these nerfs, in my opinion, though, is the Whisper of the Worm. I mean, we've had this weapon for over a year now. Well, well, close to a year, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure exact date or details, whatever. How long have people been using it? How long have things still been a challenge? It's like they nerf things on the basis of a certain set group of people who like to speed run things and do things quicker than everybody else. But you don't understand that these kind of players, these kind of hardcore players, will always find a way of speed running things, while everybody else who ain't on that level of game takes full impact of these nerfs. I mean, the below average to average player, exotics like these, exotic armors like these that have been nerfed, really help out. Taking them away will make things harder 
for many, many people. I mean, Bungie did so good with the Zero Hour Outbreak Perfected mission, only for a week later to destroy all of that with these dumb nerfs. It's like Bungie doesn't want to bank any of the player goodwill. The second they earn any, they turn it around and flush it down the toilet. The funny thing is though, they've been doing this for many, many years. Why are we surprised? It's like they drop all this because they don't care. They know we will all be playing anyway with season the opulence. So now will be a good time to nerf everyone's beloved exotics. These exotics that they're nerfing now, in my opinion, are literally yellow labeled legendaries. That's what they will be. That's what they will become. Many of these will be vaulted. And then what we'll see is a drive in other exotics and other weapons being used. And then in a few months time, they will get nerfed too. Putting the game in even a more stale state than what it will eventually become if they carry on the way they are going. It blows my mind and people say Bungie are just listening. I'm sure that that's a meme now that is. That is not true at all. If they were listening, they would have known that people are having so much fun playing the game the way it is. I mean, yes, content isn't amazing, but the way the game is, its base, its core, is pretty good. Exotics feel exotic. Some legendaries feel legendary. Why take that away? I just do not get it, people. But on that note, I'm out. I've had enough. Let me know your opinions down below within that comment section. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leaving a like really does help out. Thanks as always for stopping by, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.